to paint a picture of ways you can use your cards to pull your opponents back to their map and learn how to get your shooters involved and get your tanks to take all the heavy damage while cleaning up a wave of attack that's now coming from both angles. I'll give you an idea what that looks like. We're going into overtime now. I gotta clean up the left. That right is coming down and it's coming down pretty strong. I have some aerial attack because he didn't really show, show much from an aerial perspective. Now we got a big wave coming in. We are going to have to take a little bit of damage, just given the cards that we have. So we took about one good hit to the right. Barrow comes in, he'll hit that with the arrows. But now we got the thing to the left, a bit of a tank, you know. So now we're drawing their cards in. They set up a little bit of defense. We also have our defense. The thing about that card is it wastes time, so you're, it's not out for much longer. So... I got to get my get my card out. And what I do is I put my aerial cards up to clean that up on the left. Maybe I can get a few hits. Offense for defense is basically kind of the game that we're trying to play. And we'll see who bites on the fake. Getting that Sparky out, this is a very clutch move. Because the Sparky does not hit, hit us. So it keeps us in the lead. And we have to do our best to at least maintain. Which is why I said wow. Hit that with the log. Now the archer's great because it gets to move and hit some of those cards. I try to put my card down there to absorb a little bit of damage. Now I'm in defense mode. I could have used the arrows for that card as well, the aerial cards. You know, but now I start to put my tanks in there. You see how they're kind of absorbing damage? Get some get some shooting in there, get get something to kind of clean things up now feel like I firmly got myself into the lead and the archer the musketeer staying in a little bit longer and now it's just about maintaining keep me up make sure that I got everything and notice that he hits me with the um he hits me with that at the end the clone crazy being able to draw your opponent back to his or her map the ability to let your ranged cards shoot freely, knowing that your opponent has big waves coming in, they're going to have to waste the elixir. That's almost necessary to get those big cards out. And the whole point for them is to build a big wave, come down and just destroy everything in its path. So this way, whatever you wind up saving is probably going to be a lot and take down most, if not an entire tower potentially. So to be able to do this, to draw your cards to the point where your opponent has no opportunity with no time left to make a good push, this is how you maintain, this is how you, you use your cards to draw them in, and then learn how to discipline yourself with two waves of cards coming at you.